Champ, great to see you. Last time you were on this show, you said, blame Bob Arum for making you so much money that you were retiring from boxing. And normally, I applaud fighters who, wa who walk away. In your case, though, I was thinking, wait a minute. We've never seen something like this before. Six foot nine moves like a lightweight. He's just kind of at the peak of his powers. There's unfinished business. I don't want to see him walk away. What made you want to fight again? The fact that I was bored. I got bored of retirement after around about three months. Um, very, very lonely and no, no ambition to do much. So I had to come back to boxing. It was the only thing that I knew would make me feel good again. Um, so here I am, back boxing again. Somewhere I didn't think I'd be, to be fair, and somewhere that I didn't want to be. However, circumstances have changed, and here we go again, another fight. I'm, I'm a, a big fan of the way you've handled and been transparent in public about your struggles in the past, and you've inspired a lot of people, presumably. Um, I've been inspired listening to how you've overcome struggles in the past. Are you concerned at all for Tyson Fury, for, you know, the fact that without boxing, you felt like you, you still had this itch. Do you think that's related to the fact that you can still do it? Are you worried at all in the future that when you can't do it anymore, you're still going to want to? You know, I, I know now that when I retire again, I have to have another job to go into straight away. There'll be no, there'll be no time um, retired. I have to go straight into the next job, whatever it may be.